have just a couple of moments because we have a great guest coming up. That's going to be Janice Siegel. Janice is part of the group Manhattan Trip. Can't wait. Dennis, uh, Big Island, uh, about half a minute, but we want to make sure you get on the air with us here today. Dennis, good morning. Good morning. Okay, I'll be quick. Uh, society, best work, when individuals in that society create something of value for others who appreciate enough to pay for it. People who are on drugs do not create value for the society. They usually are on some kind of welfare or some kind of housing. It does not make society work. It is a failure. Thank you. Hold on, hold on. I know we have just a few moments. Okay. There's some guys that are sitting around right now. They're small business people. They run their own companies, corporations. They create jobs. They contribute economically. They perhaps have nonprofits that they serve on boards with. But at the end of the day, they want to go home. They have two bong hits while they watch the evening news. Are they not contributors to society, even though they use an illegal drug? Have no problem. As long as they are doing their own thing on their own time and not creating a uh, burden to society, and that's the underlying burden, because most are not in that category you just described, I'm totally okay with that, and as long as they are responsible for the consequences of their behavior. Dennis, thank you very, very much for the brevity and the quality of your call. That brings us right down to 8.30 Manhattan Transfer. Coming up next. You're John at $1,000 now. Text the nationwide keyword. Tag to 200-200. You'll get a text confirming entry plus my heart radio info. Data and message supply in this nationwide contest. That's tag to 200-200. The advent of social media and the internet came of proliferation of fraud, hoaxes, and yes, fake news. Fake news. Fake news. Fake news. So when you want to cut through the noise, join us at News Radio 830, KHBH. KHBH traffic. We've got an incident. I'm Lady B from the flagship fast food traffic center. All morning, a westbound right lane after Ward is blocked with OCS bus and HPD officer parked at the bus stop. Traffic into town begins on Pulo exit on the H1 Airport Vida to slow down is at the Nimitz and Dillingham exit. From the Wilmer side, brake lights on Poly Highway as you approach downtown. And the drive-in from East Oahu congestion on the H1 and Kamuki near Kahala. This report is brought to you by Positive Coaching Alliance. Got issues with youth or high school sports? Positive Coaching Alliance can help. PCA, a national nonprofit, offers more than a thousand free online resources for youth and high school sports coaches, parents, students, and administrators. Visit pcadevzone.org. Fox News, I'm Jane Metzler. No subpoenas in play, but things are heated. Acting Attorney General Matt Whitaker still testifying before the House Judiciary Committee. Ranking Republican Doug Collins of Georgia. This is nothing more than a character assassination. Whitaker insisting. I have not talked about the special counsel investigation with senior White House officials. And he added. I can assure this committee that before appointing me to this position, the president did not ask for and I did not provide any commitment, promises concerning the special counsel's investigation or any other investigation. Whitaker also defending his decision not to recuse himself from overseeing this special counsel investigation. Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos accuses the National Enquirer of blackmail. The tabloid insisting it's acted lawfully in communications over publishing photos of Bezos and his mistress. This is Fox News. Trending now on News Radio 830, KHBH. I'm Julia Norton Dennis. Hawaiian royalty descendant Abigail Kawana Nicola says she is very fine and capable of conducting her own business. The comment came in an eight minute video released yesterday by her attorney. The 92 year old Campbell Estate heiress also says she has an obligation to the Hawaiian people, but that her hands are tied. It comes in response to a fight in probate court over her fortune, estimated at about $200 million. Her competency has been challenged and claims made that her wife has been exerting undue influence in an effort to enrich herself and reduce the funds the heiress's trust had promised to support Native Hawaiian programs. The National Weather Service is warning of strong winds and possible coastal flooding. All of Oahu's north shores are under a high surf warning until Monday morning. Waves are expected to be 20 to 30 feet today, with heights possibly reaching 60 feet on Sunday. The system could also bring winds with sustained speeds of up to 25 to 30 miles per hour, with localized gusts near 60 miles per hour. The National Weather Service advises everyone to be alert to the possibility of significant coastal flooding. 
State transportation officials are putting the following to slide up for auction. The state announced yesterday buyers interested in the 140-year-old ship can inspect it at Pier 7 at Honolulu Harbor starting February 15th. Bids will be accepted until February 28th. Potential bidders must have a performance bond in the amount of $1.5 million, guaranteeing removal of the vessel from Honolulu Harbor within 60 calendar days from the bill of sale. From the News Radio 830 KHBH News Center, I'm Julia Norton Dennis. Trending news and much more at khbhradio.com. This segment is brought to you by the good folks at Nutrix Hawaii, the makers of bioaspin and spirulina. More local fast spectrum because the Spectrum TV gets free HD. Exclusive local programming like OC16. Point Telecom charges $7.95 a month for HD. There's no local program. Spectrum Internet starts 200 megabits per second, no data cap. And you have access to nearly 4,000 hotspots across the state. Spectrum Voice includes unlimited calling and free voicemail. So get Spectrum TV, Internet, and Voice. $29.99 each when bundled. 